How do thermobaric or vacuum bombs actually work? First of all, we shouldn't call them vacuum bombs because no space-like vacuum is actually created. Instead, we should call them fuel air explosives because the bomb uses a mixture of fuel, powdered metal, and oxygen from the surrounding environment to cause the explosion. Here's how it works. The bomb casing is blown open and the fuel is released. The fuel makes its way into the cracks of buildings and the openings of bunkers, mixing with oxygen as it descends. Detonators ignite the fuel, causing substantial overpressure and a fireball. The explosion is devastating inside of bunkers or inside of buildings. Russia uses the TOS-1 as its thermobaric weapon carrier. This is designed to saturate an area with thermobaric weapons to destroy bunkers and buildings. These weapons are not specifically banned by the Geneva Convention or the Red Cross, as long as they're used on military targets. But the TOS-1 warheads aren't exactly precise. Do you want to know more about thermobaric weapons? Check out my long form video in the description or comments below.